back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you want to know how to get this sunset inspired eye look with this bold red lip this summer glam then stay tuned and keep on watching because I'm gonna do a walkthrough for you I'm gonna go through the products I use my tips my tricks my techniques and what I like to do to, in order to get this final product if you are interested please keep on watching and since you're already here you might as well just subscribe because you know or not I mean it's cool like it's fine like whatever just do you it's um yeah just please subscribe I hope you enjoy this video let's get the first thing that I like to start off with is moisturizing my skin. I got a sunburn a couple of days ago. I was at the lake and unfortunately my skin has been peeling now after a couple of days and I thought I was going to be fine, but nope, I didn't escape it. Fine, whatever, cool. A little bit of peeling on my forehead and around my nose area. So it's exfoliated gently to hopefully get a better turnout on my makeup. I'm going to start off with my face routine and the first thing that I will do with my makeup is I will use a primer. I've already moisturized my skin. I use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. On I already used my Sunflower Sweet Serum that I also talked about in my skincare video, which I will link below for you. After that, I've let it sit. And now I'm gonna go in with my Pores No More Luminizer Primer by Dr. Brandt. This is actually one of the products that I received in previous months of BoxyCharm, and I really, really love this primer. Um, a luminizer primer, which means it just gives you a very nice glow. If I'm gonna take it about an amount like that, rub it in my fingers, and my hands are clean, of course. Please wash your hands before you do your makeup. Hands are gross, they have lots of germs on them. Just do it, just listen to me. Um, <laughs> a lot of people like to use a beauty blender or a brush to apply primer but i feel like i just never can get the primer to fully set in the areas that i want and it just doesn't work for me personally so i always just use my hands really quick but definitely make sure they're clean poor professional a mattifying sort of primer it feels very velvety though in a way but it does give you kind of like a matte look i like to use this around my cheek area where i have lots of pores and around my nose and i'll just kind of instead of just rubbing it in like a normal primer i usually just pat this in these areas usually i like to prime first because i will start with my eyebrows and then do my eyeshadow and then that way it gives a you know a couple minutes for the primer to set in just personal preference like i said I prefer to do it that way. I'm gonna take a, but this brush, um, I actually bought when I bought this dip brow a very, very long time ago. I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dip Brow Pomade in shade Ebony. Dip it in there. I start by brushing my brow hairs up and then I'll start underneath and just create that sharp line that we will be blending out in a minute. Kind of create like small hair like brush strokes to fill in any areas or gaps that you you know may have throughout your brows because I mean like not all our brows are perfect shout out to the ones who do have perfect brows you're amazing I wish I had your brows next I'm gonna take some more dip brow and I'm going to go above and really cover and create that line on the top Oh, it is like a full face beat I don't want it to be like this really heavy heavy kind of makeup so I'm keeping my brows very light and pretty and natural and just kind of giving it what it needs all right so as you can tell it's um, a big difference from the other side but it's also not too dark to the point where it's like BAM like in your face brow I'm gonna go ahead and do my other brow off camera alright guys so I just finished my other brow using the same thing that I did on this side now I'm going to go in with a second brow product called the Anastasia brow Wiz, and also the same shade as the dip brow which is ebony and I'm going to go ahead and take this little it's like a little pencil that I use for small details within the brow usually like in the inner brow where I couldn't really get with the brush because it's a little bit thicker I just like to go upward lightly very very light hand um, in upward motion just creating small little hairs to kind of define the line or like the arches and stuff a little bit more so I really like using these two products together so I will link this all below to where you guys can find this at second 
thing I will do for my brows is I will take some concealer and using, oh great, this brush doesn't even have a name, awesome. This brush was by Profusion. I'm pretty sure I got this brush like from TJ Maxx. There's NARS Radiant Concealer in the shade Custard. I'm gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand. So now that we look psychotic, we're gonna go back and take the concealer a little bit more and we're going to go lightly. This step is honestly not necessary in a look, but I personally like to do it just to keep everything like going above my brow. All right. Now that we look even more psychotic, take a beauty blender. It can be damp for this step. It doesn't have to be damp, but take my concealer and I'm gonna dab some on my eyes. Just So when you don't set your concealer with a translucent powder or what, whatever powder you choose, you are going to get a better turnout with color, with vibrancy with your shadows. And this is a trick that I've learned. Well, moral of the story is, don't set your eye concealer. Your eye looks are gonna look bomb. Me, along with the rest of the beauty community, approve this message. Start your eyeshadow. Today, I'm going to stick to a nice yellow eyeshadow, a nice golden-y kind of matte. I'm feeling matte today, I'm not feeling shimmer. I'm gonna take my Jaclyn Hill palette and go in with this Moda Pro crease brush. This with this brush, and I'm gonna take this neutral color, these two up here, and just kind of mix them and pop that right in my crease. I'm going to take Morphe G24 brush. It's nice mustardy color here in the palette and I'm going to tap off the excess and pop that in my crease on top of that transition color we just used. To use nice like circular and like windshield motion in your hand at the end of the brush is going to give you a lot better turnout with your blending because if you're holding your brush super close, it tends to look very harsh and um, you're gonna get like those harsh lines with your eyeshadow. So go ahead and move to my Subculture palette. Um, this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills. If you're familiar with Modern Renaissance, this is its sister palette. The mirror right here, maybe I should take off the plastic film so I can see. And take the shade New Wave and use that same brush um, and take the shade New Wave in sub Subculture and just pop it on top of that yellow. The colors in Subculture are very pigmented as you can tell. Um, I like to use these shades to layer with. It gives a nice golden color. I'm just blend till your wrists are basically um, falling off. This Morphe M441. It's a very good blending brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take the color Edge in the palette. So I'm gonna take that and also pop that in the crease. I like to take it and just kind of smoke it out like that. This Morphe M443 brush, it's also a nice blending brush but it's more of a packing brush so I like to use this to pack color onto my lid or like outer corners so I'm gonna go back in my Jaclyn Hill palette and I think I'm gonna take this color right here right on my lid so you can tell it's like a nice brick shade taking that and packing it on but at the same time just kind of rubbing it on there and just kind of doing like these like circular back and forth motions to blend that on my lid and upwards as well into my crease. Take a smaller packing brush. This is a Luxie 213 T brush. 
I got this in my boxy charm as well. This is from the eye set that I talked about. I'm taking this deeper, like mahogany, pop that right in the middle of my lid. I'm gonna take that first crease brush and I'm gonna go in with my NYX Ultimate Palette. Can I, do I know how to open things? Okay, there we go. This bright yellow shade today and I'm going to cover my brush in it and just kind of tap off a little bit. And I'm gonna go and concentrate. You don't need a whole lot for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate this right at the top, just blending that kind of golden orangey tone that we've created in the crease and popping that right on top near the brow bone and just blending it and buffing it in it creates a very pretty nice gradient and i'm just kind of smoking that out here but i'm pretty pleased with the eye itself it's very smoky i think it looks very pretty it's very golden and nice for the summer the colors are very warm so i'm gonna go ahead and put on or i'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes once you've curled your lashes, you can go ahead and take your favorite mascara using the Great Lash by Maybelline Mascara. I'm just kind of trying to get rid of this. I really want to try out a new mascara. So if you have some um, recommendations on what kind of mascaras you guys like best, leave a comment below because your girl needs a new mascara and I'm kind of just indecisive on what to try out next. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take these beautiful lashes. I ordered these recently off of an Instagram page, at joannes underscore beauty. Um, they have lashes, they just kind of found them on Instagram. Nice, fluffy lashes, very gorgeous, very glam. I love the packaging. This style is called Nini. So these look like I have to cut off a little bit, a little tiny bit on the corner, so. Also a tip about cutting your lashes, make sure you are always cutting your lashes from the outer edge of the lash. Coat the lash. And I like to put a little bit of extra glue on the outer corners. Just let it sit there for a second before you apply it. I go ahead and pop on this lash. And I pop it right in the center and then I like to secure my outer corner first. And I do this with both my hands and tweezers. Okay guys, so I have both lashes on and this is what it looks like so far. I really like these lashes. Again, these are styles Nini. I will link down below um, their Instagram so you can check them out. Start our face makeup. So since my face has already been set and primed, I'm going to go ahead and go in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have been loving this foundation. This foundation is so full coverage. I mean like, it's, oh, it's so good. Like you guys will see. I promise you it is one of the best foundations. I'm loving it right now. Look at that. Hello. High coverage. Hi, sweetie, we love you. If you have done your concealer, you're gonna go ahead and take, I use the Airspun um, face powder. This is uh, my translucent powder that I use. It's wonderful. It so next we're gonna go ahead and take our shade and light palette, which is by Kat Von D. And take that. I took a little bit on my brush. A little bit goes a long way and you An elf angled brush. I love this brush. I use this always for my contour. I'm using the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer in shade Bronzed. I'm gonna go over that contour for a nice warm bronzy look. Luxie 207 T brush and it's a nice little angled brush. 
Once you're snatched, once your nose is snatched, once you're looking good, go ahead and go right underneath my contour. I like to do this to just make it sharper, cleaner. It's like a little flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with that brick shade that I used on my lid. I'm gonna tap off the excess. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop that right underneath here along my lash line. Smaller, flat end. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this mustardy shade and I'm gonna pop that right underneath that red and just start blending that outwards and buffing that out so it's not so harsh. Take this bright yellow, this time with the kind of fluffier end. I'm gonna take just a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and just smoke that out off my under eye powder. The MAC Fix Plus and spray that all over the shade Prosecco Pop. And this is a very nice color. It's a very pretty color for the summer, I think. Morphe M510 brush. This is a nice highlighting brush. Um, My camera literally died in the middle of me filming. So I was waiting, I just went ahead and put mascara on my lower lash line. I um, took this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk, which is literally just a white pencil. And I already lined my waterline with some white to kind of just give me a brighter um, appearance. Minted my inner corner highlight and brow boom. Go ahead and go in with my blush. And this is the Sephora colorful blush in the shade Too Hot. The Techniques blush brush and I'm gonna go and dip that in there lightly and take some and just put it on the apples of my cheeks and just kind of smile a little bit you know do the blush after the highlight just because I just kind of like to blend that color combo that I want to do today and today I am going to be using the 22 lip kit by Kylie Cosmetics So yes, I'm like loving this right now. A lot I like how the red just kind of matches like the fiery on the eyes right now. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and spray myself one last time. So yeah guys, this is it for this video. And if you liked this video and you liked this look, go give this video a thumbs up and go subscribe to my channel because you might as well. You're already here, you're already watching, you got this far. So go ahead and press that subscribe button. And also, if you're not following my Instagram page, Go follow, it's at Makeup by Amanda Barros, and I will link, like I said earlier, link all the products I use below. I will link anything you guys need to know from the video that I mentioned, brushes, everything. So much for all the support, it means the world to me. So basically that's all I have to say. I guess I'm just gonna go now. Bye guys, see you in my next video. <laughs>